family welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing well i hope you're all doing good and if you're new here hello my name's kimberly and i hope you subscribe turn your bell notifications on so you get notified every single time that i upload and give this video a massive thumbs up to be a part of my weight loss journey family guys this is a title of a video i never ever thought i would say in my entire life and i'm almost so teary because this was my goal weight from the beginning this was my goal weight from the beginning like to actually say that i i'm shaking i'm shaking as you guys can tell from the entire love today's video this is my how i lost 50 pounds video it's insane because for so long you don't understand how much i've struggled to lose weight try different things things that weren't working given up i've i've been through everything that you could possibly go through in a weight loss journey and never ever succeeded and to finally be here it's crazy and in today's video i wanted to give you guys a rundown of absolutely everything that worked for me that didn't work for me and essentially just some tips they give for anyone who was in the same position as me anyone who's been watching this journey and heard me talk about wanting to be at my goal weight for a long time if you guys would like to come over and follow me on my inspirational fitness page on instagram don't forget to do that and also my inspirational fitness podcast podcast as well now really really taking it back before i decided to lose weight i was trying all the fads and different trends that didn't work the kardashian diets the fit tea tummy diets all these different things the egg diets they do not work they do not work when you realize the concept of weight loss and especially where i am now understanding that your body really needs to see a trend it really needs to see a trend of something again and again and again to allow it to get used to it first of all but also to maintain that sustainable pace of losing weight and when you're doing these shock trends and fads your body is like whoa it can't take in all at once it can't sustain it can't maintain it number one thing that really did that started to help me out is realizing that first of all i'm a massive craver second of all i'm not eating the best i possibly could i would always eat things that are labeled healthy or healthy foods or salad bowls no 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 that was never gonna work for me what i really needed to realize is that first of all i have a lot of sugar cravings the thing that keeps me wanting to have food in my mouth 24 7 is my sugar cravings and it's realizing that i needed to regulate that and understanding how am i going to regulate that because if you're someone who has sugar cravings i had to stop being like on day three i'm doing really well let me have a slice of chocolate cake because technically calorie wise it won't ruin your weight loss journey but it will spike your insulin well, that spike is what causes you to want to eat more things again later on I would always get to day five end of the week on a friday and i'm thinking let me go all out this weekend or have a little treat because i've done so well this week and then i'd wonder why i'm eating unhealthy for the next three days following that and it was really for me changing up what i class as a treat having that donut on a saturday too early on now i can do it because i feel more regulated and regimented and my body has built up that tolerance that firewall that enables me to really bounce back and ignore the sugar cravings and the rush and infusion of of cravings that come after eating that donut too early on you haven't built up that tolerance you haven't built up that resistance which is why i always have this mantra of three weeks of a specific routine three weeks of incorporating a steady pace with no treats it's going to allow your body to get comfortable and used to it it takes three weeks not three days not five days three weeks so if you find yourself giving up and not doing very well after that friday evening every single time at that five day point it's because it's too soon not because your body and metabolism doesn't work so build up that resilience and give yourself three weeks of focus next i ended up doing something called intermittent fasting it would be an understatement to say intermittent fasting changed my entire life of weight loss before i started this weight loss journey i'd have masses and masses of periods of time where i wasn't shifting or losing any weight i'd be doing the exercises i'd be eating the right foods i'd be you know sometimes even making my food even more lean to try and shift something anything even 200 grams at the end of the week why hasn't even 200 grams come off intermittent fasting enabled me to boost and speed up my metabolism and especially the amount of weight that i lost you have to think of your body as a slow slow machine and sometimes if you're eating regularly often 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 every single day
day, your body hasn't had the time to develop and process and push that food out of your system. What intermittent fasting does is it gives you a window of the day, say for example, eight hours in which you can eat. The rest of the day, all this, the rest of the day, you're fasting. It basically doubles, if not triples, the amount of time your body has in order to digest the food that you had yesterday, let alone the food that you had the day before, and the day before, the day before. It gives your body this extended period of time to really digest and work that food and get it out of your system. That's when the real weight loss starts to happen. You start to see, I started to see significant results and this massive push of actually the numbers dropping. And intermittent fasting really enabled that. Not only did it do that, but it reduced my portion sizes. I mean, my portion sizes now compared to before are crazily different. I would have a massive plate of rice like this. Now, because of intermittent fasting, I'll be lucky if I have half a plate and then the rest I'd actually prefer to have a protein or vegetables because your sweet tooth really gets eliminated with intermittent fasting and reduced. That's what intermittent fasting does. It helps you regulate your insulin but also boost up that digestive system. You want to help your digestive system because it's not as strong as we think. Next, I start into incorporating water. Now, I'm all full water drinker before my fitness journey. Awful. I mean, everyone, my parents, my family, my friends, would always tell me, Kimberly, drink water, drink water. And I used to be like, oh, I don't really like water. It's not really for me. Water changed everything because of the fact that our stomach is this big. When you're incorporating and drinking water before every meal, so I now have the routine of drinking about a litre of water before every meal or half a litre or whatever I feel, automatically you filled your stomach half, even quarter of the way full. And then you have that much space and your body can feel that much space that it needs a food rather than feeling like it needs to fill up this entire fist-sized stomach with food. Allow the water to settle and sink in for 10 to 20 minutes before your meal. Then go and get your meal. It's the same sort of concept of if you buy food or if you order food when you're completely hungry and you're grumbling, you're going to order 10 times more than you actually need. This is the same sort of process but in physical form where you physically filled up your stomach with water and your stomach can then gauge how much you really actually actually need. I still had takeaways. I still had this now and again every fortnight or every three weeks. I was a massive takeaway eater, sugar eater, all these types of things. So if I can really end up going to having takeaway three nights a week, sometimes even four, to once every three weeks, that's a testament to the methods that I used. Because for me, it felt like an impossible journey that I was never gonna reach, and I did that. So stay in there, it's really, really possible if your case is <laughs> as serious as my takeaway love was. Next, my exercising started to incorporate walking and running. Now you guys know this, because I did walking challenges all throughout August, all throughout June, all throughout September. I was doing walking challenges with you guys on my Instagram. Here's what I'll say with walking. Walk Walking is one of those easy methods to get your quick calories burn. Easy. And it adds up because you don't just look at it on the day that, okay, I've done 150 calories of walking. Times that by seven and times that by four weeks. It's going to be so much by the end of the month because you're incorporating your muscle training as well after that. I was doing Lily Sabri. I was doing the clothing. I was doing the Pamela RF. But walking really helps shed the fat off. You can do as much muscle toning as you want. Muscle toning tends to need to be incorporated with cardio to really get that shift and push of the fat off your body. So that's what I needed to do. It's about doing the correct exercising. I used to treadmill for like five hours a day. So I'd go to the gym twice a day thinking, oh my gosh, you watch me. By the end of the summer, I will have my summer bod. Look out everyone. But I was burning myself out. It is not even a quarter of the effectivity of what I am doing now. And what I'm doing now is more sustainable. I no longer have that amount of time to treadmill. I don't no longer have that amount of ability to treadmill. So it's really, really about knowing you don't need to go heavy. 30 minutes a day is gonna get you there. It's about your consistency that continues the process. I also had to learn to throw away the scales because there'd be weeks where numbers wouldn't shift in turn. I'd then change up my food, I'd change up my workout, I'd change up my fasting window and make it shorter, all that type of thing. There's ways to get past a weight loss plateau, but it's about keeping going. Weight loss plateaus where your weight loss stops are so 
so common and so normal but if you stop you will never know how to get past that so I had to really think about those things incorporate different ways of losing weight and try to push past the plateau and really experience the plateau if I had stuck in my plateau and done the same thing that I'd done year after year after year which was to stop my weight loss journey because I didn't want to see the numbers stop I would have never got to where I am now except the plateau except when your weight loss has stopped and come back 10 times better the next week by changing up something in your routine now I want to talk a little bit about the foods that I was eating you guys know I spoke at the beginning about how that one little treat can really really set you off for the whole week if it's too early after a good few months I think you're fine having whatever you want whenever you want in moderation but when you're at the beginning your goal your main task is to regulate your cravings but also I had protein in every single meal I never ever cut out carbohydrates I have my carbohydrates there pasta rice bread sometimes even four times a day things like that I kept in there those carbohydrates is honestly what kept my appetite going. When it comes to deciding what to have as a treat, and I have a chocolate bar here, or three slices of toast here, I'm better off having the three slices of toast. Yes, toast is still harder for the body to digest, but it's not gonna make me have that craving in an hour's time. That's the difference. So I hope that's been informative for you guys. I've got so many workout routines that are gonna be going on this channel. Food, recipes, all that type of thing. So don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see a lot of that. We're uploading all throughout December, and I'm really excited to take you guys along with me for the rest of my journey don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up turn your bell notifications on to get notified every single time that i upload and don't forget to come over and follow my inspirational fitness page on instagram as well as my podcast page as well i love you guys so much i'll see you guys very very soon bye guys